Hello everyone, with the beginning of May, we uh, honor Mary this month. As you can see, she has received her crown. If you would like to um, look back and see the uh, kids' May crowning here at school um, and the little ones, the kindergartners, praying lovely lady dressed in blue, please do check out the YouTube channel. Also want to thank all those who've supported our Boosterthon. Uh, the kids reached their goal and for that they'll have uh, next Friday off of school. Also, we hosted uh, yesterday the National Day of Prayer here at St. Francis for our Medina churches. And so um, Deacon Paul presided and a number of other ministers participated. So again, you can see that prayer uh, service on our YouTube channel. I want to remind you that tomorrow morning uh, is the diaconate ordination for our six men to be ordained. Uh, our own Mark Tomeco will be uh, made a deacon. And so tonight, if you'd like to gather to pray for them, we'll have nocturnal adoration uh, from 7.30 here Friday night until benediction tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. Uh, tonight I'm off to St. Basil's for my nephew's confirmation. My other niece had her confirmation last Sunday afternoon, and we've got my nephew's first communion <laughs> next Saturday. Um, so I'm running around doing a bunch of family things. Um, also this week, I want to remind you that Ascension Thursday is transferred to Sunday, so it's not a holy day of obligation. On Thursday morning, the uh, Avalas will have their holy hour to pray for vocations. Also, there are 40 spots still available for Vacation Bible School registration online. A reminder, too, that last week was the last Life Teen Mass uh, for the beginning here of summer, and it will resume after Labor Day. Uh, thank you to all who uh, play music, who sing, who uh, help with that liturgy, and everybody uh, I'm sure is going to want our rest. And also with Corpus Christi coming up, uh, we're going to take a poll and uh, about how many of you who come to 8 o'clock Mass would participate in a short procession out around the front lawn of the church and then to come back in uh, for benediction. Uh, it probably would take about 15 minutes. so. I'm looking to do that for uh, that first Sunday morning in June. And I think that's everything. Um, again, this weekend, Jesus in the Gospel of John continues uh, praying that we can remain in his love if we keep his commandments. So we do our best to love God and to love our neighbor. And it is beautiful outside springtime, uh, all the trees and shrubs blooming. And uh, it smells so good, the, the fresh cut grass. So I hope you're able to get out and enjoy the beautiful weather. Um, and have a great week.